I'm Mary Bond. I'm the author of The New Rules of Posture. I wrote this book to help you discover your body's natural posture intelligence. What's new about the new rules is that better posture is not an ideal position that you have to train your body into. Instead, it's an awareness of your body's sensations of aliveness and power as you respond to the world around you. My book helps you understand these responses and teaches you how to create new and better habits. This video shares one of the many explorations in the book that will help you change the way you use your body. I hope you enjoy it. In this lesson, a student explores new sensations in her shoulders and spine. So Pam, I'd like us to start by just having you turn your head. Just turn to look as if behind you, there you go. Just feel the range of motion that you have there in your neck, what that's like. It feels like it ordinarily does, right? Mm -hmm. Rather <laughs> that's tight. How it Rather tight. Okay. So let's see what happens if you try this exercise. You're just going to bring your hands up onto the wall. Just put them on there a little farther apart from each other. And then begin by putting a little weight into your elbows. So your elbows point straight down towards the floor. And then you're going to begin to spread your hands into the wall. So the skin of your hands deepens. Every little millimeter of skin deepens into contact with the paint. And then you can feel especially the small two fingers spreading. It's like they were getting longer and smushing the paint out. Yes. There you go. Can you feel what that did here in your back? Yes. So it's a good feeling, like a strong feeling, yes. right? Supporting your shoulders yes. here instead of supporting them where most of us do, supporting yes. the shoulders. So let's just see what happens if you keep this feeling in your back and let your arms just come down, just bring them down. And you feel how there's more lift through your whole body. Yes. Okay? And try turning your head again like you did before. Oh, that feels so much better and so open. Feels like you can turn farther, doesn't it? Yes. Just for fun. Let's go back to how you were sitting earlier. There you go. And turn your neck again, just to feel. Oh, I can't. It's not as, as far. It's not as far. No. Right. It's not as far. Okay. So your neck isn't just a neck. By experiencing the sensory connection between her hands and shoulders, Pam created the possibility for better lift in her spine. This, in turn, created more freedom in her neck. That's it. So there's a lot of aliveness in your hands, and that aliveness translates into your whole spine. Beautiful. Okay. As Pam works alone here, look for the subtle coordination between her hands, shoulders, and spine. This exploration demonstrates the connection between touch sensations in the hands and balanced use of postural muscles. Notice how this connection contributes to more elegance in her spine. Pam presses her hands into the wall as if it were made of soft clay. By attending to the sensation of skin contact, she avoids excessive tension in the muscles of her hands. Observe the activity along the back of Pam's armpit. When this muscle, the serratus anterior, helps to support the shoulder blades, the upper trapezius muscle on the top of the shoulder near the neck can relax. That's why it becomes easier for Pam to turn her head. The serratus anterior shown here in blue, attaches to the inner edge of the shoulder blade and runs around the armpit to the first several ribs. Its action is to secure the shoulder blade to the back of the trunk. In the next lesson, Pam increases her awareness. 
So Pam, let's take this a little farther. It's a similar theme of shoulder support, but I'd like to show you another little trick or two. So go ahead and put your hands on the wall in an ordinary way, not engaging the wall. And you see, again, we have this rounded feeling in your chest. Mm -hmm. And go ahead and lean in from here. Yeah, that's it, right about there. And then just do a little push away, like a push up. Do it a couple of times. So it's the kind of action that you might do if you were pushing a piece of furniture or mm -hmm. pushing a grocery cart or something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see if we can do it in this more supported way. So go ahead and engage your fingers and your elbows and your serratus muscle to start. And then when you lean forward, lean from your hips. There's plenty right there. And then really, really feel like you are pushing the wall two feet in that direction. It okay. feels totally different. Push the wall away and bring yourself up. That's it. Really push it. There you go. Try it again. Just let the elbows bend a little. There you go. Feel this happening here. By challenging Pam with the common activity of pushing, we reinforce her awareness of a new sensation of support in her shoulders. That sensation is what makes the difference in her posture. This work that we just did on the wall doesn't mean anything because it's just a wall. The posture, the basis of posture is our relationship with other people, how we are in relationship. So we're going to take that exercise into a little patty cake experiment. So go ahead and bring your hand up just as if I were the wall for a moment. And go ahead and bring your awareness into that contact. So you're really touching me. Yeah, there you go. There you go. And feel how that opens your whole mm -hmm. structure. There we go. Mm -hmm. Now go ahead and push me away. And you feel how strong you are? Yes. In that it's situation. Amazing. It's amazing. So now if you go back and just assume you're more habitual, there you go, right about there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now push you away. <laughs> it's really hard. So what you're doing is you're pushing yourself away. <laughs> it's okay. really hard. So then just shift your awareness again to your hand. There you go, there you go. There you go. Yeah. yeah, yeah, all right. Wow. That's perfect. In these final moments, Pam demonstrates her habitual way of doing paperwork. Notice the tension in her hand, arm, shoulder, neck, and jaw. Soon she'll discover that better shoulder support changes how she feels about her task. Wow, this feels so much better. I'm just loving this. I'm so much more involved with what I'm doing, but it feels so much better. My body feels engaged with what I'm doing, and I, I'm just loving this. I feel like, feel like I'm massaging my body. And look at my range of motion in my neck now. It's just great.